microcirculation. Fish tails are used to study the circulation of blood in small blood vessels because fish tails are thin and easy to observe using a microscope. We are able to differentiate arteries, veins, and capillaries by the direction of the blood flow and the movement of the red blood cells. The objectives of this study are to examine the microcirculation in Agapi's tail and to identify the different types of blood vessels. Let's start our lab. Obtain two thin cotton wads. Soak the cotton wads in water and spread them on a petri dish. The cotton will be used to cover the fish and keep the fish wet throughout the experiment. Place the fish in the petri dish with its head and body lying on the wet cotton. Its tail should lie flat on the petri dish. You may apply some more water to the cotton and tail to keep the fish wet. Place the petri dish on the stage of a microscope so that the fish's tail is over the stage opening. Use a low magnification to observe the fish's tail. In this lab, we will focus on three different types of blood vessels arterioles, venules, and capillaries. Arteries transport blood away from the heart and branch into smaller vessels called arterioles. Next, blood flows from the arterioles into capillaries, which are the smallest vessels. Finally, Blood flows into the venules, which carry the blood into larger veins and eventually back to the heart. You should be able to see the movement of red blood cells in the three types of vessels. Notice the different blood flow rates among the three types of vessels. Here we see blood flowing away from the heart through a large artery in the tail. The flow rate is high. Here we see blood flowing in a larger blood vessel. Compare this to the slower flow in the capillary. You should be able to see red blood cells slowly moving through the capillary. For comparison, let's look at the blood circulation in a tadpole. The red blood cells of the tadpole are larger than those of the fish. These are the arteries. Notice the branching of the arteries. Here we can see an arterial and venule position in parallel. The direction of the blood flow is opposite in these two vessels.
Here is a capillary. The blood flow is low, and you should be able to see the movement of red blood cells squeezing through the capillary one by one. 